So I want to talk a little bit about Flutter Web today and why it takes so long to load a page if you've deployed via Firebase. Um, so you'll see here, like I'm just going to reload my page and I have my um, developer toolkit up and running here on Safari. You'll see just so I can look at how the file sizes are. Uh, you'll see this huge file. It's called Canvas Kit. It's 2.78 megabytes. Very large. So I'm going to show you how to resolve the issue today. So I'm going to clear this out here. I'm going to go to develop and then I'm going to go to empty cache and then quit Safari. And then I'm going to go over to my, uh, my VS code here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go flutter build web. So flutter build web and then dash dash web render web renderer renderer R E N D E R equals to html html so when i've built for the web i've already cleaned this out right i'm just going to take this two seconds here to clean these other files the ones that are just showing up here delete so yeah after i type in flutter build web dash dash web dash renderer it equals to HTML. It will build the web for the HTML. Hold on, cannot find web renderer. Nope, probably because I got this wrong here. Uh, web renderer, yeah. Yeah, there it is. Flutter build web web renderer. And then I'm going to go Firebase deploy only hosting after this. And then we're going to take a look at the, um, the website in Safari and look at the file sizes. This could take about two minutes, so I'm going to pause the video and wait while we wait. Pause. All right, I'm back. So now I'm going to do Firebase deploy only hosting. You'll see here. Da -da. And then enter. It should take like a minute or two. Deploying to Candles Toronto. That's my website. It takes like two minutes. Okay, so that deploy is complete. We're going to go back to Safari here and open it up and see what the thing is. CandlesTronto.com mm -hmm. Okay, that loaded a lot quicker. Inspect element. I always go to network here. I'm going to clean that out and then I'm just going to try it again by empty cache. And then reload the site. Let's see. Yeah, that went a lot faster and the files are a lot smaller, you'll see. Anyways, I hope that helps you out a lot when you're trying to put up your website with um, Firebase and Flutter. Um, yeah, I if you have any suggestions or tips or anything like that, please feel free to leave them in the comments. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel and like my video. Thank you.